on the for the detail counseling talk next we will have dr ranish madhavan he will be speaking on uh, enhanced uh, motor focus uh. yeah good afternoon everyone so my topic is on enhanced monofocal you know that uh, nowadays in your practice you know most of the companies are coming and bombarding with uh, one term called edof and again enhanced monofocals now we have a confusion which one to choose right so it's usually in premium iol services it is a, a tailor made approach you have to understand what's the requirement of the patient and accordingly you have to choose otherwise you will get uh, end up with a unhappy patient so first you know what is uh, uh what is each lens and what they provide about the uh, enhanced monofocal if you visually see there is no difference between the two lenses you see here you can see two lenses one is a uh, enhanced monofocal another is a just a monofocal see these two lenses look similar so visually it looks very similar but how this enhanced monofocal work is actually it is nothing it is just a monofocal lens just the 1 mm the central 1 mm of the lens the anterior asphericity is been made high order or the uh, surface is made in such a way that there is a gradual increment of power is given only in the center you can see here you know this green thing is there only that 1 mm area is having power the rest is just like a monofocal only so that area can give up to plus 0.5 to maybe plus 0.75 extra power that is what is the over called as enhanced monofocal now in my practice i usually use the lens which is uh, jnj's uh, eye hand so i can only talk about that because that's my experience this is a picture which shows that this is the mtf you know this modulation transfer function of the lens now you see this lens this one is uh, this monofocal that is technus monofocal and this is the eye hands that is enhanced monofocal here you can see the graph going you know this is the emetropia lx0 the graph is at the peak the monofocal gives the maximum thing in emetropia that is in the distance vision and then it sharply drops down at around 2 meters after that it is there is no line but what i hands do or whatever this enhanced monofocal do is it it gives a little extension here no so it comes up to 1.5 defocusing that means up to 67 cm it gives a uh, it gives a little bit power there but there is a slight compromise in the distance vision very slight compromise which is negligible but this area is good that the patient get around a 67 cm of intermediate vision never think that these lenses will give near vision it won't give near vision but at least 60 cm is good because for females usually when they do the work in the kitchen no the working distance is almost 60 cm which is a good thing and again nothing is done here see you can see whatever area taken from this distance has been added here that's all it's just taken and added there and this area is the area where that's that, that extra intermediate power has been given now i'll just show you this is uh, eye hands lens implantation why i am showing is you see this this is a eye hands lens and there's nothing much difference it's just like a technus lens even if if the sister gives you a technus lens also you, the surgeon cannot uh, differentiate so this is just like that but the central area is having a power and there is one more is there clarion is also there this from alcon but the clarion comes with a, a preload so this this is the injector which usually they give they have a car, co2 gas is there it is a self you have just press it the gas will push the iol this is the clarion lens and you can see just you push the plunger it automatically the gas will push the iol and uh, the delivery is very smooth in uh, clarion see the delivery is very fine the both the lenses are enhanced monofocals now then now the question comes is what is edof what is the difference between edof what edof is doing is just look at this graph previous and compare with the previous graph edof what it do is it adds extra power, uh, power at this area and reduces the distance vision a little bit a considerable reduction contrast loss in the emetropia zero and that area has been added here so the graph has gone little more so it comes to up to around 2 minus 2 minus 2 point this increase in the depth of focus gives a more better intermediate maybe the intermediate will be about 50 and sometimes i, I have never seen in my practice that an edof lens gives near vision maybe but it they can give at to 50 cm so here the intermediate vision is little better than the enhanced monofocal but the contrast loss is lit high in edof 
so that's what i say it depend upon what patient needs and it, uh, accordingly you have to choose and how it works is edof is usually the if you look at the lens you will understand there is something different so this is a uh, symphony here they have the step pattern in the uh, posterior aspect and that step pattern is giving that diffractive elongated focal point and this is how the symphony looks like so because of these rings definitely the patient will have glare and they have some kind of halos also so and the distance contrast will be little compromised that's in my practice i see and this is uh, vvt the vvt lens of alcon you can here also you can see this is the uh, wave uh, technology they have used and this wavefront technology also same same pattern is there and you can see this this extra ring is giving more intermediate than the monofocal enhanced monofocal lens and when i compare all the lenses you know the photon entering into the eye any eye the amount of photon entering is the same there is a constant but what is happening is you look at the alcon plane and this is the technis one monofocal this area is dropping here but enhanced monofocal this is the enhanced monofocal so the this area is been transferred to here so that area is reduced and that is added here in vvt what happens the same amount of a photon is entering so they have to adjust somewhere so what they do is they adjust this area and keep it there so it is according to the patient which area you want you want uh, mostly you are working on intermediate area and distance is not that problem for you then you go go for uh, it off otherwise only a little bit of like when you drive you want to see the dashboard and you want to cut the vegetable it's okay for them then you can go for a enhanced monofocal so that is the basic difference between the two now we come to the patient satisfaction point and then i just show you one video like this is this is one edof lens and this is actually this edof lens is a, a little uh, this is uh, apasami's lens in focus supra supra fob in focus you can see the central ring there and this is another this is the symphony uh, multiple rings are there now regarding the patient selection you look at this many studies i have seen many studies you look at what they say is here they have uh, uh, compared with monofocal enhanced monofocal and edof lenses the intermediate vision similar to that of edof iol that's what they say even in the enhanced monofocal they also give almost a similar uh, intermediate distance with the uh, edof so in that case the problem is in edof you will have a contrast loss but in monofocal enhanced there is no contrast loss again this is another study which shows that interestingly there is no significant difference were reported for the visual acuity at the intermediate vision see again it says there is no much difference in intermediate vision and these both these lenses are not giving the near vision now we will see which one to choose it's purely the patient and doctor's choice but you look at this enhanced monofocal it gives an excellent good vision edof gives fairly good distance vision i am not saying don't give but the contrast will be less and again intermediate both are giving good intermediate maybe a little advantage there for it off but the glare and halos is almost nil in enhanced monofocal the other will have glares and halos again regarding the cost factor you get it uh, enhanced monofocal for 10000 the other one is almost two to three times more and again it is pupil dependent it of is pupil dependent because there is a rings are there it is pupil dependent and there is no contrast loss in enhanced monofocal and the both the lenses you put you have to give a spectacle for near vision so it's purely depends upon what patient's choice and uh, what their financial status and the doctor's choice thank you that is a very wonderful presentation by anish uh, comparing the two kind of lenses in the enhanced focus